bruise. You see how big that is? That's just one of the bruises that was on my daughter's body when she was returned to me. You may not be able to see in the shadow, but right there is a cut mark. My daughter was knifed. Terry, Ontario. Ontario, colon, Terry. Orlando, Florida. On you, all social media. Look him up. Burn marks on my baby girl's hands. She was tortured. And these fucking cops from Vermont to Florida... You wonder why we got lawsuits? You see that right there? Right here. That's my daughter's finger. So badly fucking burned. This is what judicial retaliation and sex trafficking, human trafficking did to my daughter from the state of Vermont, Boston, down through to Florida. Everybody needs to call Channel 6 Orlando Investigates. Orlando Police Department, Orlando Regional Medical Center, Daytona Beach, Florida Police Department, Volusia County Sheriff's Department, Michael Chitwood, and find out why Brianna was hidden. Call Boston University Medical Center. Ask who the detective, Daniel or Dennis, is that put my daughter on an airplane with a cell phone and stopped conversation with her. Because why? Because she went fucking missing. Look at that huge ass fucking bruise. Can you imagine this being your daughter? These are some more pictures of the burns on her hands. Look. You see what that is? That's a fucking deep burn mark in my daughter. More knife marks. This was my daughter's hand showing me where her head hurt. It was so fucking swollen from being beat in the head bruises on my daughter's head deep fucking burn marks on my daughter's body this was a puncture wound band-aid from the puncture wound another fucking burn mark I sent a message to Volusia County begging him to find my daughter he tells me to take my meds and it all leads back to right here, Vermont State fucked up police. They refuse to do anything. So please ask them where all the reports are that have been sent in from February 16, 2021 till this current date of June 24, 2022. This was Bree in December of 2020. And when she went missing, that's how she was found a year later. A week after my daughter had been announced to be found alive my home got burned down, didn't it, Gordon Obert? Vermont State Police, what happened to these reports? Vermont State Police, what happened to these reports? Burlington Federal Court, United States Postal Service, what happened to all that mail that Janine was sending out? And what happened to all those filings that you see there listed? Burlington Federal Court, Jeffrey Eaton, let's tell the nation where my mail went. Here's another report about my daughter being abused and nobody did anything. Vermont State Police, Jeff Noyce, Essex County Sheriff's Department, Vincent Aluzzi. That is why we have all these court lawsuits and charges pending. Isn't that correct? You need to stop lying. You already know that my daughter was missing. Vermont State Police, Vincent Aluzzi, TJ Donovan, and all the courts, Laura Wilson, everybody knew. Why? Because they're the one that set her up to disappear. Without a doubt. All reason to believe. And when you continue to follow and watch these videos, you're going to know. And you will agree. This is the evil, nasty bitch. She does heroin, she drinks alcohol, and we know where she buys her heroin in Island Pond, but she is the one 
that called in all those reports against myself and my daughter. Her name is Linda Bickford Heber Yates, whatever the fuck she wants to call herself. That's her nasty ass husband, Neil Yates, in the picture with her. He's about as dumb as a box of fucking rocks. Not just my opinion, but it's a strong one and it really matters. So anybody that knows them, they work at Vista Foods. So does that fucked up retard and he's diagnosed mentally retarded. But that's who has my grandson, Kevin fucking Bickford. Look at these pictures and you can see why that fat thing in the previous picture is so jealous of me and my daughter that she called in false reports and even told me the day before DCF showed up that she was having DCF come and take my grandson and my daughter didn't deserve him and then she'd never see him again. Can you imagine? The fuck kind of bullshit is that? Look at that. This family. Mother, daughter, and grandbaby, right? Okay? And then we go back. And we look at that. Now you see why? All these false reports. She was sleeping with the police. Okay? Do not even deny it, Jeff Noyce. You know it's fucking true and so does she. And that is why nobody will do anything to help myself or my daughter, Bree. With that being said, June 21st, 2022, there was a court hearing because I was falsely arrested. And it's already been proven. You already heard the court hearing. Judge Harris, on April 9, 2021, heard the case for a restraining order that I requested against Kevin Bickford. And when I requested that, it was granted. Why was it granted? Because the judge heard me and heard all the complaints that Kevin had made against me. And he heard me tell him that none of the police we're doing a goddamn thing to help me. So with that being said, he gave me a restraining order. You heard in the uh, recording, he noted very loud and clear that Kevin was not a resident there, but he had friends there. You heard him tell you that there was no way that I did the things that I was accused of. And if I had, he wouldn't have granted me a restraining order, correct? So I've requested since... March of 2021, and here it is, June of 22, you call Caledonia Record newspaper yourself and ask them why they're hiding and aiding and abetting in the information, okay? That would have already solved all this bullshit. But instead, they hide the information and create negativity that leads me to filing lawsuits. Uh, uh, then my mail comes up missing. Why did my mail come up missing? Uh, hello, Jeff Noyes, Vermont State Police, T.J. Donovan, Vincent Aluzzi. Where's all my mail? Well, it seems to be that I'm not getting any mail because there's some frivolous activity going on. I didn't change my mailing address. Janine pictured there at the post office preparing the mail to be sent out. She's a very good witness. She not only brought my daughter to me when they found her so badly abused, in Vermont before she went missing, but she also admits that there has been no mail for me or Brianna from the courts. And that would have been since March of 2021 when you see her there sending mail out, okay? But in July of 2021, the Vermont Supreme Court, Burlington, Vermont, noted to the news that my cases were dismissed on a frivolous basis. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not the one that's frivolous. It's the fucking judicial system. It's the police, the politicians, the judges, the attorneys, and all of them involved. And that's why I filed injunctions. Well, they haven't been heard because you see in Essex County and Orleans County, there's this uh, delay in hearing cases. Anything that has involvement with Vincent fucked up Illusi, is being hindered. Nobody's being heard. They're all being suppressed. People are being held in jail. If you have a loved one, or if you are still facing charges yourself, you've got a loved one that's facing charges or incarcerated, you need to go file injunctions, would be my suggestion. Go file protection from harassment, violation of Amendment 6, and all of your human rights, civil rights, and everything. File the injunctions. Everybody, let's go. Let's go to the federal courthouse and file injunctions. They're protection from abuse, harassment, and terrorizing by the officials. 
You have to name the officials, though. So I named Vincent Luzzi, TJ, Donovan, Governor Scott, all the judges, all the fucking attorneys and politicians involved. And let's go. Let's go to the courthouse. Let's start protesting. And let's start posting on our windows and on our lawns, as well as on the back of our cars. It's time to abolish the fucking corruptness. That means abolish the ones that are doing wrong, fire them, impeach them, get rid of them, and replace them with those of us who are out here doing wrong. You want to keep your firearms? Get rid of the ones that are taking them away from you. Look up the word abolish the government. It is our amended right in the Constitution. If you don't know your constitutional rights, please contact me. I will teach them to you. Instead of you talking shit about me, and thinking that I may be out of the way or even crazy for going forward and filing lawsuits about people that do me wrong. Well, you know, maybe you're the crazy fucking one that's not doing anything to help remove these people from office and start doing us right instead of continuing to do us wrong. Have a great day.